In this short video, I'm going to show how to find chi-square critical values for confidence intervals. It would also work for a two-tailed hypothesis test using the solver feature and chi-square CDF in a TI-8384 calculator. These two calculators don't have an inverse chi-square function. Let's take a look at what the example is we're using. The chi-square distribution is a right skewed distribution that starts at zero and goes to the right out to infinity. We're going to use the example where we have uh, a confidence interval that we're trying to build with a sample size of 28 and a confidence level of 95%, which means we want to find a lower chi-square critical value and an upper chi-square critical value to plug in to the formula and there will be 95% of area between these two critical values with the same amount to the left and to the right, which is 1 minus 95% over 2. In other words, we take what's left over from the 95% and split it between the two tails. And so that's what we need to find is what is the chi-square critical value that has 2.5% of area to the right of it at degrees of freedom of n minus 1. And what is the chi-square critical value that has 2.5% of area to the left of it at degrees of freedom of 27? In the calculator, we're going to use a combination of solver and chi-square CDF to solve. We go to the math menu, up arrow to get to the solver, and choose that function. If you have something already here, you can up arrow, which will take you right into the equation solver, and clear it out or work with it if it's the function you want to use. Next, once we have equation zero equals, we go to second vars, which takes us to the distribution menu, and we scroll down to get to chi-square CDF. Now, if you have a TI-83, then you won't see this wizard menu. You'll just see a chi-square CDF and an open parenthesis pasted back into the equation solver. You're going to enter the numbers in exactly the same order with commas between them. For the lower value, we'll put a zero. The upper value is x, which is using this x t theta pi button to plug that in. It's just if you click it, you get the x. Degrees of freedom is n minus 1, or 27. And then we're going to press paste. Before we do, I want to make sure it's clear what we're doing here. We are telling the calculator solve to get the chi-square value that represents this x, which has, we're going to tell it in just a moment, 2.5% of area between 0 and the chi-square at 27 degrees of freedom. Now it's pasted into our equation solver, and we need to now subtract the area that's between 0 and x. So we'll subtract 0.025 and hit Enter. We're not done yet because we need to press alpha and solve, which tells the calculator to solve for that value. And we get 14.57. In order to solve for the upper critical value, you could go all the way back through by pressing math, up arrow, get solver, and then second distribution or second vars to get to chi-square CDF. Or I can press the up arrow button to go into equation solver. And now I want to find the chi-square critical value that has 2.5% of area to the right of it, which means my lower bound will be the x value, and my upper bound will be the effective value for infinity. And you can use E99 in the calculator or 9999. One little trick to avoid trampling all over everything you've already typed is to press the second button and the delete key, which has insert above it, and then type in what you want. I'll use second and then the comma, which inserts the E, 99. Delete to get rid of that, and I have everything in here that I need. It's now going to solve for the chi-square critical that has 2.5% of area between the chi-square value and infinity on the right. Enter. And again, I need to press alpha and enter to tell the calculator to solve and it might take a couple of seconds, and you'll eventually get the correct answer of 43.19. And that's how we use the calculator to get an upper and lower critical value using solver and chi-square CDF when we have a two-tailed test or a confidence interval. 
You can run the same process to get a one-tailed chi-square critical value. You just don't need to split alpha in that case. I hope this has been helpful.